dose of Sadie's gaming infection. This week we have an emergency remedy. My good friends at the Umbrella Corporation were able to give me a copy ahead of time so we could have Ultra Deco's results posted on the day that it is released to the public. Let's see what infection is running amok in Resident Evil 5 for the PlayStation 3. Well, it's familiar territory with Resident Evil, so let's do this. Resident Evil 5. When is it going to be like the lounge singing guy? I'm waiting for that. Resident Evil. The fifth. Wait, there's like no time to read that little trivia fact. I'm going to fail my Resident Evil quiz. Chris is a busy man, but he's never too busy to look good and wear designer sunglasses. That is not a parking spot, and that is the worst parallel parking job I've ever seen. Ass! Again! <laughs> wow, in my face. The Welcome to Africa Committee? I think it's just a big ass. I'm sure you'll do just fine. You'll do just fine, because you look just fine. Okay, we got the intro cutscene. Here we go, the fifth head of the Ashford family. It's like a game. How fast can you really read? <laughs> what are you doing? God, she's so sexy. Look, we get the lens flare. Cutscene! Didn't they just have one? That's a, where's my... what's her name? How do you, wait, whoa. There she is. Let's go find her. <laughs> it zooms in right on her breast. I was looking for Sheva's breasts, and here they are, right here. And just in case, I never know. I can just... Do my tracking. Instant breasts! Okay, so this is where you get your weapons. Very nice. Cool, pick it up. I got him. Okay. Investigate. Oh. Okay, um, they look like carcasses to me? It's swarming with bugs. It looks rotten. What else can I investigate? Can I investigate her? She's swarming with boobs. Looks hot. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't investigate her. Chris is only interested in one thing, and that is rotting animal meat. Remember, we're a team. Oh, let's investigate. This buddy Stu War. Why is this here? Why are you asking that? Chris Redfield has seen so much shit. Does anything really surprise him anymore? The controls are really easy to pick up because, like, it's pretty much like Resident Evil 4, which I've played. Um, except that you can't cut open cardboard boxes, which I don't seem to understand. Why did I just turn away from the door? No! I don't want to look at that door. So while we're watching this guy die, I'd like to give a shout out to Buttfoy. Hey, what's up? Very interesting name choice. I always think it's his butt boy, but <laughs> that's not what it says. It's his butt boy. So don't anybody make that mistake, because you'll start bleeding out your eyes just like that. You weren't expecting that? Own! Stomp! Wow. That was fucking sweet. Come in, Kirk. The oh. locals were hostile, we had to use force. Captain Kirk, save us! There's nothing I can do to save you. God, he's ripped! His biceps are huge! It's gotta be like the size of my waist. Sheva is very helpful. Look at her. She's backing me up. She's way more helpful than Ashley. God damn it. Stop moving around in your fucking long underwear. Alright. Oh! For it! No! That's what you get from only wearing Speedos. People just wanna. No, I wanted you to punch and not pick up ammo. Oh, oh my god! Oh no! Alright, here we go. 
Uppercut. <sighs> so first boss battle. Kind of hard. <laughs> She's casting a spell. First aid spray. Set your monster to boil and garnish. Oh, there she is. Whoa, this guy is running full speed. <gasps> and he got his head blown off. There's no running on this playground. That is dangerous. Hi, I'm Chris Redfield. I'm a door kicker opener. That's me. Yay. Uh oh. It's Ashley. Help! Somebody help me! Leon! I mean, Chris! Hey. What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, you know, just long day at the office. She's sick, clearly. And why is he falling for this? Oh my gosh, you gonna bite my arm. Oh my gosh, you gonna make out with me? <gasps> oh, oh! Uh! They're just lining up to get shot in the head. Then they back up, because they're second thinking this whole lining up thing. <gasps> is that a safe room? Like from Left 4 Dead? Get in the safe room, Francis! Jesus Christ! Ah! That's the most scared I've gotten while playing this game. And it's not even a fucking zombie or whatever the hell those things are. Ooh, I'm getting a little creeped out here. Let's just destroy more barrels. Go barrel roll! I mean, kill the barrel open. But we have to keep moving. Keep moving? Maybe he wants, like, one last wish. Like, like a lap dance from you. Move aside, lady, move aside. Let me give him one. Let me just slowly put the key in. If I had just done a little bit faster, I could have avoided this mess. Oh, he closed the door behind him, you piece of shit. Jesus Christ. Knock over. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get it, get it, yes. Right this way, please. I'll show you your room. You keep it warm at night. So, uh, you don't have to worry about being too cold. Okay, here we go. Turn on. Oh god, hurry up and close. Oh! Fuck! This is unfucking believable Here we go in, go in, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. Have a nice... You're burning up with fever! There we go! I got it! He's burning up with a fever. Alright, I'm gonna end it there. That's enough zombie ass kicking for now. Resident Evil 5. It's been a while since Resident Evil 4. And some has changed and some has stayed the same. Which is good and bad. Because Resident Evil 4 was a great game. It was really fun. And Resident Evil 5 takes some of those elements of that formula and uses them again. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But there are a couple things to keep in mind. First thing would be your partner, Sheva. While it's really great to have somebody there with you to help take down the zombie hordes and to heal you, which is like my favorite part, because they have changed the menu so that it's real time. So while you're trying to heal or reload, change weapons, whatever it is that you're doing, you're still going to be getting attacked. So it makes it a little bit difficult to heal and then, you know, get right back into shooting. So it's really nice to have somebody that's got your back. On the other side, you, that's a whole other person's inventory that you have to manage. Bullets, you have to save her sometimes. So it's very... It goes back and forth, you know, she becomes a pain in the ass sometimes, especially when she gets in your shot. Like, she does that a lot. Way more than she should. And there's also moments when you're like, you've taken all this time to get this aim, and you finally got this guy's head in your shot, and then she takes it. And you're like, okay, well, I'm going to move on to the next guy real slow. So it can be an up and down with Sheva. As a female character, She's a huge step up from Ashley, because I'm sorry, Ashley was really annoying, she's in a skirt, the whole game, it's like, not really a positive view of women, kind of like, ooh, they help me, Leon, because I get so tired of hearing that. So, she's strong, she kicks ass, you know, she's very, she takes all the initiative and stuff, so it's pretty cool, she's a little kick-ass, a little boring too, but that's okay. They're working on it. 
when you pick this game up, be ready to play. Because despite the cutscenes, there's no tutorial included in that with, you know, the controls and stuff. So you have to figure those out on your own, and almost from the get-go, it's action. So you have to be ready to kick some zombie ass. Speaking of cutscenes, there's a lot. It's like every other Resident Evil, there's a lot of talking. A lot of redundant cutscenes, but, you know, most of them are pretty good. The voice acting is okay. It's not stellar, but it's not... Jill Sandwich bad. You were almost a Jill Sandwich. Or are you the master of unlocking? I'm really excited about this prospect of playing the game co-op, which is a huge step up. You know, Resident Evil is usually this whole solo experience, but for the first time in an actual, you know, numbered Resident Evil, you get to have some co-op action. So I think it's really cool, and I'm really excited to try that out online or something. So even though Resident Evil has always been known for survival horror, this time they're kind of taking a spin on, you know, what's expected of a game in that genre. For instance, it takes place during the day. Like, way during the day. Like, you better put on some freaking suntan lotion. And that's kind of weird. I mean, I don't know if that makes it less scary. You do go into some dank, dark areas, you know, and maybe later on in the game you play at night. But so far, it's like broad daylights, which is kind of weird. The other thing is that you have a friend with you that, like, kicks ass. You know, usually you got some useless person dragging behind you, or, you know, most of the time you're totally alone. So this is different. It's kind of weird. But, you know, maybe they're trying to add some new life into the game. Into the genre. So if you're a fan of Resident Evil 4, you'll feel right at home with this game. Pun intended. If you're a survival horror fan, like I said, there's a couple things that are a little different from the typical formula, but it still holds true. It's very strategic, limited amount of items, etc. If you're looking to run and gun your way through everything, that's not going to happen because you got to stop and shoot. you got to stop and smell the bullets. It's not just like bang, 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 running everywhere going crazy. It's not like that. The only thing that I can really say is that I miss Leon. He was so thin, and I really miss his shapely behind. Chris is just this big, burly barbarian, and I, I, I have Kratos for that. After this footage was taken, Ultra Neko was able to get online to try the co-op, which she found to be more enjoyable than the solo experience. As a side note, we'd also like to mention that the PlayStation 3 has frequent, but very short, load times. That's all from the lab this week, so until next time, stay tuned and... Stay infected. Leon, call me.